The Territory is rich in natural resources. Territorians own the resources extracted from our region. That's why mining companies pay us royalties when they sell it. Unlike most other Australian jurisdictions that collect royalties based on the mineral value, in the Territory, royalties have been calculated from either the mining company's profit from mining or a percentage of the mineral value, whatever works out to be the highest. The Mineral Development Task Force said the Territory's profit royalty scheme made it difficult for mining projects to secure financing. It is more complex and less predictable than a value-based scheme. Over the last 20 years, the Territory has seen minimal growth in the number of major operating mines. The Territory needs mining royalty revenue. It helps pay for our hospitals and schools. That's why from 1 July 2024, the Northern Territory Government has changed the laws so that any new mines will be subject to the value-based or ad valorem mineral royalty scheme. To manage any potential revenue impact, existing mines that were operating in the Northern Territory in 2023 will continue to pay royalties under the existing profit-based royalty scheme. This ad valorem royalty commencing 1 July 2024 is designed to accelerate the Territory's competitiveness in attracting investment for new mines which in turn creates new jobs, while balancing the need for important own source revenue for the Territory. Full royalty rates will be applicable from 1 July 2024, reflecting the level of processing or value adding. This is a great mechanism to incentivise manufacturing jobs right here in the Territory. The rates are 7.5% for the least refined minerals, 5% for concentrates, 3.5% for chemically refined minerals, and 2.5% for final or highly processed minerals. Further, the applicable rates are contained within a schedule to the Act. The new scheme provides certainty for Territorians, industry, government and landowners because it is simple and calculated on the mineral value. And importantly, it ensures the Territory remains competitive to attract private investment into our region.